School of Commoning as a living educational commons. As we explored in the very basic outline on the commons earlier, we saw how commoning is the lifeblood of a living social system. The more we are commoning and learning new collaborative skills and capacities, the greater depth of commoning we can begin to embody. At the School of Commoning, we recognise three waves of commoning. The blue waves in the SSE logo represent the three waves of commoning. The first wave represents the ensemble of practices used by people in the course of managing shared resources and reclaiming the commons. So in its simplest form, commoning is creating and maintaining something collectively. The second wave represents moving from the me to the we, where people become capable to think, feel and act as co-creative collective entities without surrendering their individual autonomy. And the third wave represents recognising the inherent unity and connectedness of humanity as a whole and expanding our sense of self to include it. That's the shift from us to all of us. This also parallels with something David Bollier said at the recent Occupy Wall Street event on the Commons. He said, the Commons is unity without uniformity. Growing a Knowledge Commons from community knowledge garden to action. As mentioned briefly earlier, we'll be beginning the Commons in our live series with the Urban Space Commons in late April, and we'll expand into other areas if there is interest from people wishing to collaborate and build these series with us. All Commons that play a role in our life, and in the life of our planet Earth, can become a part of the commons in our life series. Let's take the urban space commons to demonstrate how the learning process unfolds. It begins in the community knowledge garden. The vision, need and early seeds of the knowledge commons resource is planted and then nurtured through the commoning activity. This helps in the building of an emergent syllabus from which a variety of workshops, seminars and such events can be hosted by the school. How we envision learning, growing our collective intelligence through using appreciative inquiry, open space and art of hosting, social learning, commencing our commoning learning journey using U theory and asking generative questions, peer-to-peer -peer study, co-learning and facilitation, harvesting our commoning activity from both offline and online media and feeding forward into the next phase of our learning cycle as a spiral of continuous development supported by your peers. As we learn in this way we are commoning. This all starts with envisioning a new narrative and then asking generative questions about that new narrative. And in doing so we are growing a knowledge commons, developing our collective intelligence for even better ways of self-organising, co-governing and co-producing our knowledge commons, and as David Cooper Ryder and Suresh Srivastava say, the co-founders of Appreciative Inquiry, this kind of learning can co-create a theory of intentional collective action designed to evolve the vision and will of a group, organisation or society as a whole. In this way, social knowledge is not out there to be discovered or prescribed by experts, but rather it is created, maintained and put to use by the human group. Starting with commoning education, we can begin to learn and develop theories that naturally lead to commoning activity and the building of commons institutions, renewing and breathing life into our communities and our natural world. Stewarding the commons gives power to the people and in doing so also assists in the successful transition from debt-based money and private property to commons-based money and common property, from market state to a partner state, from corporatocracy to conscious capitalism, from exclusive organisation of individuals and groups to commons-based self-organisation, all embedded in commoning cultures and a commons-based society.